What's up, guys? Sonic Stardust here. I'm here to talk about something that needs to be talked about. And that is all these people thinking that they know me when they don't. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand. I understand that a lot of people hate me. You know, I get it. I understand that I'm not liked very much. But something that you guys need to understand is this. I'm truly not a bad guy. These individuals that do this, they make me out to be that way so they can gain money. It's a money grab to them. That's all it's ever been, is a money grab. And the reason why I will not mention any names is because the people that are doing this do not deserve any recognition. But one thing you guys need to understand is that I am not a lol cow. I'm not an evil person. Despite what the internet says, I am not evil. And what people don't realize is that when it came down to that Tibbs TV guy, he lied to me. He told me that he was not recording. And what happened? He lied to my face. He put me in a position and told me that if I did not admit to what he wanted me to admit to, that he was going to get my dad. And he was going to help my dad sue me and my family. For something that I did not know that he could not even sue me for. It wasn't until the next day that I found out that Tibbs lied to me. And was recording me. And it was in that moment. When I found out what he was doing, that's why I cut Tibbs off. Tibbs is a lying piece of shit. He was recording me, and it was live. But what nobody seems to understand is that Tibbs threatened to help my dad sue me. And I felt like I had no choice. I was in a rock and a hard place and I didn't know what to do. Because believe it or not guys, I do care about my dad. And I didn't want to go to court and face him. Because that would have hurt me. And like I said, another thing that y'all don't seem to understand is this. When that Wings 007 guy tried to set me up, what they refused to put out is that I told him that I knew that he was of age. I called him on his bluff before he even tried anything. But yet nobody wants to show that part of it. Nobody wants to show what's really going on. It's all about content. It's all about views. And that's wrong. Ruining someone's life. Ruining someone's life for views. That's never okay. Ruining someone's life for content is never okay. And that's exactly what people like Tips TV have done. Gone after me and ruined my life for views.
But what I want to know is why is it that nobody's letting me move on? I've learned from my mistakes. So what I don't understand is why is it that nobody wants to let me live my life in peace? Like, why is everybody so obsessed with views and clicks and ruining people's lives for money? What these people have done is not okay. The individual I'm speaking that I'm speaking about, I am not going to mention his name because he does not deserve clout or recognition. But this individual catfished me. He did not do a pedophile sting. It was a catfish. And did you guys know that catfishing is illegal? What he did is actually illegal. In all states, it does not matter where you're from, that is illegal across the board. What he did is illegal, but yet you guys choose to back him up. Why? You know, everybody on the internet thinks that they know me, but really they don't. And, you know, and I tell this to everyone. Maybe if you guys sat down and got to know me as a human being, instead of, you know, constantly attacking me, like, actually want to get to know my side of the story. Actually try to understand where I'm coming from. You guys might learn a lot. But it's like you guys don't want to hear what I have to say because you guys think that I'm this lol cow that I'm not. I'm not a lol cow. I'm a human being that made a simple mistake. Should I have fallen for that catfish? No. But you have to ask yourselves, who's the real bad guy? The one that fell for the catfish or the one that did the setup in the first place for views to isolate that person. The individual that set me up, set me up because he is gay for me. He is obsessed with me in a very disturbing way. And he is angry that I turned him down because I'm not gay. I do support the LGBTQ plus community. I do support the gay community, but I myself am not gay. And all these things that you guys do, what you guys don't realize is that all of that ruins lives. It ruins everyone's lives and makes things harder for other people. It makes people like me unable to live our lives like we want. I don't want to fight anybody. I don't want to argue. I don't want to rage out. I want to be happy living my life in peace. Doing what I love for a living. But every day I wake up depressed. Dealing with PTSD. Dealing with anxiety attacks. And also dealing with panic attacks. Because of the evil things that have been done to me and my family and my friends over the years. You know, I've told people many times that if they have a problem with me, to take it up with me. 
and to leave my friends and family out of what they have against me. If somebody has something against me, take it up with me personally, and we'll talk about it. We will talk about it. But what I don't understand is why is it that everybody wants to pick a fight with me? Why is it that everyone wants to leave nasty comments? I go through enough already with fighting my own demons. I don't need the nasty comments either. Like I said, the individual that set me up utilizing another very much hated individual That person pretty much ruined my life. Because of him, I can't get a normal job. I can't do anything. And that's not fair to me. That's not fair to my family. And that's not what I want for my future. I want to make money doing what I love. Like I said, I understand that I've made mistakes in my past. And I'm sorry for those mistakes. But what I don't understand is why hold me back to my mistakes. It doesn't help me get better. It doesn't help me improve my life. You guys always say that... You guys are always saying that you want me to do better. That you want to see me improve. But how does... Holding me to my past, how does that improve anything? It doesn't. It makes it worse. And to everybody out there contradicting everything I say, just stop. I right, just freaking stop. It doesn't make you look good. It doesn't make you look badass. In all actuality, it makes you look stupid. It makes you look foolish. Like I said, I understand that I've made my fair share of mistakes. But nobody on this earth is perfect. No one. We all make mistakes. We all screw up. I've made my mistakes and I've learned from my mistakes and I'm more careful now I'm being way more careful and way way more cautious and all I ask is for a fair and I do mean a fair chance to redeem myself because I still can be redeemed and I want to prove that I'm not doing anything wrong but too many people are out here making up lies, saying that I'm doing this and that, when in all reality, I'm not. And I'm tired of it. All I ask is for a fair chance to right my wrongs and to show that I'm not doing what all these people, pardon me, what all these people are saying that I'm doing. I want to show them that I'm not actually doing that. Despite what the videos say, despite what people say, to twist their own stuff to get content. People love to twist my words. They love to twist it for content so they can get views. All I ask is for a fair chance to show who I really am. And to show that I'm not, to show that I'm not evil. And to show that I'm not doing those nasty things. That's all I ask. It's for a chance at redemption.